Welcome back to the Chaos Corner. We are still working on our Fashion Hues Countdown to Spring Bunny. I have finished doing the caramel over the bunny. Now I'm going to do the ears and the inside of the paws and around the eyes and probably the nose a little bit. I'm going to first use the mocha and see how I like that. Um, I've already got some poured out. I've got my brush loaded and I'm just going to go into the ears. And I'm going to put it on kind of thin because you, like I, like I said in an earlier video, you don't always have to go and wipe it back. If you put it on and you like how it looks, you can leave it. And I'm kind of liking how this looks without being wiped back, how it's going on. I'm going to leave the inside ear like that. I'm not going to wipe it back. Because again, I'm really liking how it's going on. And you can kind of see some of that wiped away brown underneath it without having to wipe back. Kind of gives it a, a velvety touch. I put just a little bit more on my brush and now I'm going down to the paws. Didn't finish that sentence, did I, guys? And gals. And people. Just so you know, when I use like, the guy, he, sh he, those are my generic term for anything or anyone. Um, he is just a generic term for me. I, I could be talking about a female and know that it's a female and I will say he um, but not vice versa <laughs> I don't know why um, I just that has always been my generic term is he oh no I just made that too dark right there I went in to try to get a A spot fixed and ended up making it worse. There we go. There we go. Okay. How that mocha kind of has a silver, silvery sheen to it. I don't know. Okay. Now I've looked at some pictures of bunnies and there's these cute light brown bunnies and they have around their eyes and their nose and their paws. A lighter shade that's almost white so that's why I'm using the mocha and what I'm gonna do is I'm putting some more mocha on my brush but then I'm taking it off to kind of like sort of dry brush
let me know what you think of the angle of the camera and if you can see what I'm doing or if you feel like it needs to be a little closer. put some very lightly around the nose as well. Oops. I'm not sure I like that, but I'm going to leave it for now. I might come back with my homemade color Palomino and see. It might be a little too yellow. It actually might be the right color. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. Um, I'm going to show you... This is the caramel paper towel and paintbrush and Q-tip. And I just put it in a snack size Ziploc bag just to keep it safer from drying up. Um, sometimes my house gets too humid and dries it up too much when it's not protected any more than just the uh, paper towels. So I've started doing the paper towel and the Ziploc bag to protect the paintbrush. Okay, that was a short color. So, hmm. I think I might quickly do the straw hat. And I don't know. I don't think I like the flesh color for the hat, so let's find a different color for the hat. My thing, I'm going to turn it upside down. Um, there's that color. I'm going to keep my finger on it. I'm going to turn it back over, and it looks like number 21. 21 is mustard. We're going to give that one a shot. See if I like it for the straw hat. There's a lot of these colors that I don't use a lot of. So they kind of get settled and a shaking doesn't take care of getting it mixed up enough because of how much it has settled or separated or whatever you want to call it. So I always keep popsicle sticks on hand for any number of things and today they are turning into my paint stir sticks. There we go. I'll probably like that color for the hat. Okay, I'm going to pour just a little bit out. And I always wipe off where I've poured out from to try to keep down on one, paint loss, and two, the paint getting stuck in uh, in the nooks and crannies and then your, your lid kind of gets 
glued shut. So anyway, load up the brush properly might help. I'm going to go in. Again, I'm going to try not to get paint on anything that I don't actually want this color to be. And it's going on really nice. I'm probably not going to wipe back. Again, I'm, I'm going to spread it out. because these are the Fashion Hues Translucents, so they are made to be a little bit see-through. And I'm really liking, really liking how that's coming out. go ahead and wipe it back okay, first off show it to you okay that's how that is right now I'm gonna wipe it back actually I'm gonna kind of blot it and yeah, maybe I do like it wiped back a little bit better And it's wet back on this side, not wet back on that side. Okay. There's not much of a difference. It's very subtle, but I think I like it wiped back better. So that's what I'll do. <clears throat> and that's how you can do your art. You just do it. Think about like, oh, I might like it better this way. And then try it. And if you don't like it better that way, you can always go back and redo it the original way. Now, this is being just a little bit thicker than I like. So I'm going to put just a couple drops of blender. And smooth it out. There we go. I don't know if you guys saw that. This was pro this was probably in the way, but I just put a couple drops of the blending medium into the little pool that I had out, mixed it up, and now look at how that just glides right on. I'm boring my dog. He's over here napping beside me. And he's starting to grumble and sigh. But I am never alone. I have four dogs. Not to mention a almost graduated child. <laughs> Dogs are my constant companion. <clears throat> now I am going to put some down here in this area because this is part of the hat, I'm assuming. It's like this big triangle of void, but it's not shaped like a head, so I'm going to treat it like it's part of the hat. And that one, I'm probably just going to dab a little. The dabbing method is where you definitely want to make sure that you have a pattern-free wipe-away cloth or know how to work around the pattern. Like being able to dab without leaving the pattern behind is what I mean. All right, just going on.
not going to get too far ahead of myself. And this is the time that you want to be careful and try not to get the color into places where you don't want that color. But if you do, like I just noticed that I did, there is a way to take care of that. Why am I not getting any paint on my brush? There we go. Just want to work it into the nooks and crannies too. All right, I'm going to wipe back this area. Okay. Now, I got a little touch of yellow right down there. So I'm just going to go and wipe it away. And it's okay that I wiped away the brown. I can just kind of go and wipe it all. Because I probably left that too dark in the first place. Now, if you didn't want to have to go through all this, just because of a little bit of yellow in a place you didn't want it, you could use just a regular paper towel. You could use a Q-tip, any, anything like that. All right. And again, there's this little triangle void area that's under the hat. So I'm going to just treat it like it's part of the hat. And I painted it with the mustard. Yeah, mustard. And I've got just a little bit left to do of the hat, so I'm going to go ahead and stretch on out and get it all done. There we go. Now I'm going to wipe away. Kind of gently pat away. Once you start getting other colors on here, you'll start seeing that you're not just brown anymore, that the caramel is there. So there is the straw hat done in the mustard number 21 in Fashion Hue. Fashion Hues. Um, I think I'm going to make this a white daisy, so I'm going to go ahead and tap in the yellow into the center of the flower real quick. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my yellow brush. I'm going to try to put it in an area, put it in an area of the napkin that has the color in it. And I'm going to stick it into the snack size Ziploc bag. And no, I don't use a new bag every single time. It just so happens this is the time that I'm starting with new bags. All right, now I need the white. Now this is going to be a little bit different because I'm going to use a toothpick and I'm going to use the cap because when you shake your bottle, you get some paint on your cap. I'm going to use the cap. A uh, toothpick might be a little too small, but I'm going to go in. And I'm going to paint the petals. Yeah, the toothpick's going to be a little too small, but you kind of get the idea. Let's see if this one...
Now your hands will get dirty doing this because as you're holding it, color is coming off on my hand. Um, to combat that, if you don't like that feeling or you don't want paint all over your hand, if you hold it with a piece of cotton fabric, like the cut off t-shirt pieces, um, you can, you, you'll have not less smudging, but you'll have less fingerprints on your pieces. And of course your hand will stay cleaner. I typically don't care. Because my hands are washable. I um I have this wonderful soap called Lava Soap. And I use it. It gets everything. Everything off. Now all I'm doing is going back and making the petals a little bit more white. I don't want them to be as opaque. Or I mean, I want them to be opaque. I don't want them to be as translucent. always get my words my meanings mixed up like if I'm wanting something that you can't see through or if you want something that you can see through I'll say the wrong thing but you know what that's okay Well, I've got the white out. I'm going to go ahead and do the white in the eyes. You will never get two eyes the same. So don't get don't get too fussy at yourself on the eyes. You don't want to stress yourself out. Okay, there's how I did the whites of the eyes. Just did like upside down U's with a little bit curl in on the bottom. And I don't like right here, so I'm gonna come in with the clean end of the toothpick and I'm gonna scrape away some of that white. It got out a little too far onto the nose. Um, that is probably all the white that's going to be on this. Mm. So I'm going to kind of quick clean the white brush just using a baby wipe to wipe off the paint and then I'll set it aside and I'll wash it later. Um, let's go ahead and do those leaves real quick too. All right. Let's get my 
color. I think I'm going to go with this bright green right here. Put my finger on it. Looks like number 26. Shake it up, make sure it's good and mixed. It is good and mixed. And again, just because it's going to be such a short amount, I'm going to use the paint in the lid. I'm going to go in and paint the green. Now I've, I've lost all detail on that. It's not a problem. I'm gonna get a Q-tip, Q-tip because the paper towel would be too big. And I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna dab a little. Okay, that was a little too much. I might have to go back in and add some little black lines to bring out the leaf veins just a little bit better. There's, there's the leaves and the flower done. Okay, that puts us at about a half hour mark for this portion. So I'm going to say that we're done on this portion of the rabbit. And I will see you next time.